So this week I thought we'd take a look at how well the winter squash have done growing on these climbing frames. Started this experiment last year growing just at the side of my plot where an old fence had stood and it just rotted and so I just thought well I'll just plant into the space that the fence took and grow up these climbing frames and it's worked really nicely. So right now I've got 17 big Crown Prince or Trumpuccino squashes growing and that's enough to see us through until the end of May and so by then of course we'll have our courgettes ready. So it means basically we get uh, to be self-sufficient in squash and not use any space at all that was previously used for growing. So as I say I've got about four or five big Crown Prince down there and some more down there. I'll show you the other two frames. So this is the second frame and it's a good one to show you the construction details. So basically I just hammered these big posts in and let's put this top support on here so that I've got something to tie my canes to and then just put these tile battens, roofing battens across here which is what I grow the squash horizontally on and then I support the squash once they're sort of grown to about this sort of size by tying them with rope onto uh, these cross battens and it seems to work pretty well. I've got a few crown prints on here, a big trumpuccino and uh, yeah they, they've grown really nicely on here once they got going. They did get knocked back a little bit in May but uh, once they sort of found their feet they've kicked out quite a nice number of squash so far. These have been grown just in this wood chipped area here. It was just sort of a waste, bit wasted bit of space. Uh, not a lot of nutrients in this ground, but obviously enough. And I think I can do a better job of getting nutrients in the ground for next year. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up the planting holes with um, concentrated uh, cow manure and I'm gonna let that sort of settle into those holes and sort of leach into the, the goodness leach into the holes all the way through until May. And then I'll sort of make a depression in those holes and plant into there. So I am using halos, which I really like, and I'm gonna to continue to use those. And basically these are tomato halos and I've just sunk those down into the wood chip path and uh, I can water into those and uh, it just makes it really convenient to hold back the four, sort of four to six inches of wood chip that uh, these pl plants are planted into. And I'll just show you the final one quickly. So this one hasn't done quite so well. I've still got some nice crown prints and trombuccinos growing on it, but that bed there is basically just sunk straight into the sandy soil and so there's no nutrients, no amendments or anything like that in there. Just the odd liquid feed and not consistently enough, to be honest. But um, it, um, it's still knocked out a few plants, but not great. I need to think about how I can get more nutrients into there. And as I say, probably what I'll do is dig out, plant, put, fill the holes with manure and then plant into those next spring. And then on this side, again, we've just got the same sort of halo arrangement sunk into the wood chip paths. And uh, yeah, I've been happier with these. So I've got, again, quite a nice number of crown prints growing on there. Obviously, everything's just coming to an end now. But if you want to know more about growing winter squash, I do have a guide that you can find a link to in the description down below, as well as loads of other resources. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Plot, and I'll see you soon.